The Ministry of Defense has launched a program dubbed Civil Military Collaboration for Socioeconomic Development in Kumasi. Under the program, the ministry will produce military apparel and other basic military kits. The premises of the defunct Gihok Shoe Factory at Atonsu Agogo in Kumase is currently occupied by NVTI Business Studies Center, some churches, Litex Form, and some other private business concerns. The initial manufacturing lines to be developed will concentrate on the development of the needs of the security services. It is the aim of the venture project to ensure that the Ghana Armed Forces attain self-sufficiency in the production of basic military hardware as well as apparel for the security sector. The Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Joseph Henry Smith, and the Ambassador for the Czech Republic to Ghana, Mr. Miloslav Mashlik, performed the sword cutting for the establishment of the Defense Industries Holding Company. The General Officer Commanding the Northern Command of the Ghana Armed Forces, Brigadier General Chris Okren, said the establishment of the Defense Industries Holding Company has opened a new chapter in the history of the Ghana Armed Forces. The Czech Ambassador to Ghana, Mr. Miloslav Mashlik, lauded the collaboration between his government and that of the Ghana Armed Forces, which he hoped will grow from strength to strength. Even, you know, we are talking about oil production that uh, we couldn't forget about uh, diversification of economy. That is very important to bring to uh, areas, uh, all area in uh, Ghana, you know, industry possibilities uh, to create uh, job opportunities. And I feel this uh, project is uh, one of uh, this uh, part of uh, possibilities which uh, creates, you know, uh, the future cooperation which we started 50 years ago. The Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Joseph Henry Smith, said a professional armed forces should always be ready and ever prepared to support the civil authority in national development programs. There is a need for the military to find ways of supporting the national developmental agenda. In the 1970s, when Operation Feed Yourself was launched as a national agriculture policy, the Ghana Armed Forces fully embraced it with much enthusiasm. 